This is me, Ms. Queen Osset Haru, and today I'm coming to you with another exciting edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Now, um, the other day I had did I did a video where I was talking about um, the hierarchy of what is priority in your life. And I got a lot of messages from people that were very sad to me, honestly. I got a lot of messages from people telling me the hierarchy in their lives. And I said in my life is God, me, my child, and then everything else, everyone else. And I got this understanding from spirituality. According to the gurus, this is the way we are supposed to prioritize so that we can have maximum health and enjoyment in our lives. So after I made that statement, I made that statement in passing in the video. And after I made that statement, I got all these messages from people telling me, well, I put everything above myself. I got messages from like 27 people literally over the past couple of days telling me they put themselves last and everybody else first. God first, everybody else, and then themselves last. They have their their spouse, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their mama, their dad, their grandma, you know, they put their boss, their job, everything, and then they're dead last. And I'm going to tell you, the first thing that, me, that that impressed upon me when I heard this was sadness. And the second thing that impressed upon me was anger. Because it made me angry that so many people value themselves dead last in their lives. Like literally. And I'm looking at the, the messages that are coming to me. And I'm talking to these people. And it's like clear. It's clear. They don't love themselves. They don't give themselves any of themselves. Even Buddha said that there is no other person who's more deserving of your love and kindness than yourself. And I'm looking at these people, these messages from these people, and they're all putting themselves dead last. And then wondering why their life isn't going right. Of course your life isn't going right because you're not taking care of yourself. Think about it like this. For anybody who's ever rode an airplane, when you first get on the airplane, you sit down and they do this little stupid thing every single time where they tell you what to do in the event of a plane crash, which I never want to fucking hear before we're getting ready to take off. I'm like, can you all have emailed this to me last night? I mean, this is not what I want to hear while I'm getting ready to take a flight across the ocean. But they do. They talk to you about what to do. There's a flotation device under the sea. You know, they go through the oxygen mask. And when the oxygen mask part comes on, the woman says something very, very important. She says, make sure you put on your mask before you assist others. This is very telling of why you must love yourself above the list of things and people that you've put over yourself. Because if your goofy ass passes out from lack of oxygen, you can't help anybody else. So if you're sitting in the row and you're helping your grandma, and you're helping your mom, you're helping your kid, you're helping your husband put on their mask, who going to help you when you pass out if they don't know how to do it? Because you had to just help them. So they don't know what they're doing. So now you passed out on the floor turning purple. And the steward has got to come save your life. That's what this is all about. A lot of people are not putting on their mask. They're putting on everybody else's mask but forgetting to put on their own. Or putting on their own last. You can't help nobody if you don't take care of yourself. You can't help nobody, not at your optimal performance, if you don't take care of yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, you're not giving your children, your husband, your mama, your auntie, you're not giving anybody the best version of you. You have to put yourself first because you can't take care of nobody else if you're passed out on the floor. And I didn't get this from, I didn't make this up. I didn't just get this from being selfish, <laughs> you know, because I personally would have put others before me before too. I would have put my daughter at least before me and maybe certain lovers. 
But you can't do that because, again, how is she going to be okay if I'm not? And that's what the gurus, that's what the Buddha, that's what they taught me was to care more about myself because those who depend on me are depending on me to take care of myself. They're depending on that first and foremost so I can help them. So if I'm not right, the whole ship goes down. So I have to make sure the ship is tight. And then I can make sure everybody's cool in their cabins and everything is good. Otherwise, we all go on drown in pretty cabins. And it doesn't make any sense. And it disturbed me how many people said, well, I put everybody above me. Why would you do that? How are you going to take care of that person if you're not together? I was talking to a woman the other day and I said to her, you really need some self-care. You need to do some meditation. She has bad anxiety. She has bad anxiety leading to panic attacks and some problems with depression. And I said, you need to do daily meditation. You need to do, they have meditations to help you with anxiety and you need to work with them. You might need some medication. You might need to talk to a therapist, but you need to give yourself some self-care to find out what's going on with you and how you can fix it. She told me she can't work on herself because of her kids. She said, well, I have to work and then I have my kids. I don't have time to work on myself. So who's taking care of your kids when you're in the hospital with another panic attack? Who's taking care of your kids when you can't get out of the bed because you're crying all morning? Your kids are suffering from the fact that you're not taking care of this. And that was the point that I was trying to get to her that I don't think she got. <laughs> but that's the point that I was trying to make was that your kids are suffering when you don't take care of yourself first. And she's like, well, they, they need me. Yeah, but you can give yourself 15 minutes a day to meditate. You can use it after you drop them off at school if you have to leave 15 minutes early. It's ways to do it. You need to talk to a therapist. Maybe you can't go to a therapist's office after work, but maybe you can find one online that you can talk to when the kids are asleep. There's a lot of ways of getting around it, but she's making excuses not to take care of herself because she doesn't see herself as important. That's the bottom line. She doesn't see herself as important. So she's making all these excuses to me. But you ain't got to make excuses to me because I know they're excuses. <laughs> I've made these excuses myself before. You can't, you can't give me my own excuses back in my face. I know that's an excuse. And the bottom line is, is that all of this is because you don't love yourself. Because somebody who loves themselves sees themselves as important enough to work on, to give self-care to. Not just so they can be there for others, but because you want to love yourself and live your own best life. So if you're putting other people before you every day, all day, all the time, that means you're always coming in last in your own life. So you're not even important to yourself. And nine times out of ten, the people around you aren't treating you as if you're important either. Because if you're not important to yourself, you're not important to nobody else. Other than what you do for them that they greatly need. But guess what? If you didn't do it, they find somebody else to. So you need to take care of yourself. Then put on the next person's mask. Then help the next person. Everybody benefits in your world by you being healthy, by you being happy, by you taking care of yourself. When you're at your top of your game, everybody benefits from that. Your boss, your mom, your kids, everybody benefits from that. But when you're in a sunken place, when you're angry, when you're bitter, when your mental health isn't good, when you're exhausted, when you've worked double after double, when your money's not right, when you're not in your best space, when you're not living your best life, it's not just affecting you. It's affecting everybody that you care about. So it's better for you. And for the people that you want to help, if you take care of yourself first. Don't believe me? You don't have to. Go look it up. Read Buddha. 
look at what the spiritual gurus say about self-care. Look at what they say about self-love. Look at Louise L. Hay. She has a whole workbook called Love Yourself. And the purpose of her doing the work was she said that people are dying. They're dying literally because they're not giving themselves enough love. And I'm asking you here at Asking Aquarius not to do that to yourself. Please think about what I said. I hope it helps. See you later.